Hey everyone, Coolest Dad here. I uh, just got back from Japan and I've made a special video to share with you today. While I was in Japan, my wife and I actually visited a couple baby product stores and while I was at one uh, called Nishimatsuya, I decided just to take my camera out and film uh, what the inside of the store looks like, what the kind of products they sold there. I think probably some of you guys have been to Japan before, but uh, probably very few of you have actually gone to a baby product store while you were there. So if you were curious about what the inside of a Japanese baby product store looks like, here's your chance to see. Uh, so this is actually a Nishimatsuya, which is a chain store for baby products and maternity wear uh, that you can find throughout Japan. It's pretty reasonably priced and by Hong Kong standards this store was pretty huge. Maybe by US standards not so big, but nice big aisles, tons of products. Uh, so when we had our baby uh, in Japan in December last year, uh, I actually came here pretty often uh, because it was nearby and reasonably priced. So in this video, I'll just quickly walk through the aisles and highlight some of the products and the brands that you can see. And there's actually a few things that are sort of only in Japan that you might find interesting. So I'll include a couple of those as we go. And let's start in the car seat and stroller department. Yes, I did take a selfie of myself in this aisle. Um, just to prove that I was actually there and uh, let's take a look. So most of the brands here are, are Japan only. There's only a couple here and there that you might see that are actually foreign brands. Um, I think they had one or two Korean things but uh, the only US brand I saw as far as strollers and car seats go is Graco which you can see right there. Um, so the most common one I think I saw would be obviously Aprika which is actually, turns out, is actually a US owned company now, but it's a Japanese brand. Uh, these ones are Lehman, and that's actually the same brand that uh, I got for the car seat that I reviewed here a few months ago, even though I didn't actually get it here. We got it on Amazon. Uh, but Lehman is one of the ones that sells made in Japan car seats. Um, and not all of their car seats are made in Japan, but uh, a lot of them are. And so you can check out our review of the uh, Lehman seat if you want to check that out. So here for the strollers, you see they have a lot of these uh, fold-up ones. I guess these are kind of umbrella ones. Um, and you can see there's a Graco, there's a Brika, and these are actually uh, Nishimatsuya's house brand, which is called Smart Angel. And these are mostly lightweight ones that fold up, and the price is actually somewhat reasonable. Uh, that one's $200, that's only $70. Uh, so, you know, especially for the lighter ones that are made for bigger kids, they were down to, I think, $30 or $40 which is kind of surprising. Let's next take a look at the diaper aisle. So you can see they have a lot of Japanese brands here, um, Mary's and Mooney, and uh, they actually sell Pampers, which is one of the few US brands that you will find. Uh, but the funny one is Goon. No one explained to people in Japan that Goon is not a good term to name your kid. One of the kind of unique to Asia things is they have a whole set of training chopsticks for kids. Um, obviously all branded, so you've got Thomas the Tank, you've got Pixar, etc. Here's some uh, Buzz Lightyear ones. Uh, one interesting thing to note is that they are actually handed, so this one says uh, right hand, so the holes line up for someone using it with the right hand. Uh, and it's actually kind of disappointing, I guess, but not surprising. Almost all of them, except for one, so maybe one out of 20, uh, is made for left-handed and the rest are all made for right-handed. So if you if you want a uh, Buzz Lightyear, you've got to be right-handed because that's the only ones they have. So they obviously also have spoons and forks and sort of normal kind of baby products. And uh, although they're mostly Japanese brands, they do have Disney lights and stuff as well as Pixar, as you saw. Taking a look at the baby bottles, uh, they have uh, Japanese brands like Pigeon and Beanstalk. And actually, maybe this is just me, but it seems like a lot of them were glass. Not all of them, but uh, maybe 75% of them were glass bottles. Uh, you don't find any brands like uh, Philips Aventa or uh, Dr. Brown's here. They're mostly all domestic brands. And surprisingly, a lot of them were, almost all of them seem like they were glass. Here's a couple plastic ones. And they also had breast pumps and sippy cups, you name it. Uh, you know, basically the stuff you would expect to find 
uh, but obviously when they do have licensed ones you see a lot besides for Disney they have a lot of like Appaman and Kumaman and sort of Japanese mainstays Doraemon etc kind of interesting I guess here's uh, cushions uh, and carriers so carriers was one thing I was surprised there's actually a lot of different Japanese brands or Japan only brands so obviously Aprika and there's some these other things that I've never even heard of like Elfin Baby and uh, Dacord and they do have Graco as well so I don't know if that's a US Graco or Japan only Graco but Graco so let's take a quick look at some Japan only products that I happen upon as well uh, so in Japan all kids pack a bento box uh, for their lunch that's made by their mom here's some Tomika Japan only kind of lunch boxes you won't find a normal Western lunch box there uh, they also had yukata, sort of traditional Japanese robes, including Dragon Ball Z style. I mentioned in my previous video that main Japan products are a big deal in Japan, especially when it comes to baby products. Uh, that's partly due to concerns about safety for things made in China, and also just for, you know, promoting domestic production and manufacturing. Um, and this is actually a big deal to the point where uh, Chinese families when they're in Japan, they'll actually seek out made in Japan products because they want to get, you know, uh, safe milk powder and other kind of baby products for their kids. Uh, so there's a whole kind of campaign around made in Japan things and they have duty free. You can get your tax redemptions if you're buying baby products in these stores. So last but not least, they had one entire section of the store dedicated to made in Japan products and there were actually a lot of them were packed up into gift packs so if you were say to give a product to maybe your cousin had a baby or your next door neighbor or co-worker had a baby and you wanted to give them a gift uh, you could get a nice you know safe premium gift pack of made in Japan products so that was actually kind of interesting and I don't think they necessarily do stuff like that in the US but uh, definitely they do in Japan so that's about it for Nishimatsuya. My kid just woke up, so I better wrap this video up. I uh, hope this video was interesting to you guys. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you found this at all useful and you want to see more, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Uh, let me know how you feel. Uh, there is one other chain store that I visited, which was a Babies R Us Japan, which I'll do a separate video for. If you really want to see it soon, let me know and maybe I'll get it done for next week or the week after. There's one chain store that I didn't get to visit, which is called Akachan Hampo. And next time I go to Japan, I'll show you that one. It's a premium store, super huge with lots of made in Japan and uh, imported products that maybe you haven't seen before. So I'll definitely do that one next time. I'll be back in Japan in a couple of months. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, please check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up again. Okay, see you next time. Bye. So that's the uh, Takara Tomi one-way baby monitor with night lamp and with this cool visual uh, uh, volume.